Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about Bitcoin news. And in the news is Bitcoin tanks as $100 million in longs are liquidated. Wow, I'm glad I was not part of that $100 million. And I hope that you were not either. I hope that you did not lose money as Bitcoin dropped over $1,500 on BitMEX. It dropped all the way down to a low of $8,600 on BitMEX. And then it's come back up some. It's trading in the mid $9,500 price range. But man, did it tank all of a sudden. And if you had a leveraged trade on BitMEX, you could have lost everything that you had in that long trade. So let's dig into the details. Should I buy Bitcoin now or should I wait? We're going to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Can we get this video to 99 likes? Smash the like button. It really helps us out. YouTube really takes notice when you hit the like button and like a video. So I hope that you like the video enough that you'll smash the like button. So I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. And when it comes to making any kind of financial investment, it always includes a certain amount of risk, but cryptocurrency involves a substantial risk of loss. And so definitely read this uh, disclaimer about the risks involved with cryptocurrency. Please take it seriously. We don't want you to be damaged financially in a long-term way. In fact, really, the whole purpose of our channel is to help you make money, not lose money. So I want to give you a little bit of Bitcoin history. If you're a viewer of my channel, you've seen this chart before, please bear with me. You may have seen this before, but take a closer look because the information on this is subtle. And sometimes, it well, for me, it took months for me to really digest it and really understand it. And so that's why I'm continuing to show this. Right now I'm kind of like on a little bit of a streak. I've been showing it every day. I'll probably stop doing that, but I will bring it up on a regular basis because we need to be reminded of this information. It's easy to forget it, especially when Bitcoin tanks. So when you invest $1,000 in Bitcoin and hold it for three years later, what has happened historically? So if you bought $1,000 on January 1, 2017 and sold it on December 31st, 2019, on, on December 31st, you would have gotten $7,206 for your investment. And as you can see by these dollars amounts, they're quite substantial. In fact, the interesting thing is any three-year investment prior to December 31st, 2019, and that was just a few, few months ago, you could not lose money. If you held Bitcoin for three years or longer and you had bought, say, on January or you bought it in August or you bought it in December on any day of the year, you could have bought Bitcoin, held, it for, held that $1,000 for three years and made something. Now you can see here on this year, you didn't make a huge amount, but hey, you still made 18%. And there are years where the S&P 500 will not return 18% to you over a three-year period. And so while 18% is not something to get super excited about, a lot of these other numbers are numbers to get super excited about. Um, given that you're only investing $1,000 and you're seeing a substantial return in no time at all. I mean, no time meaning three years. Three years is really a, a fairly short period of time when you look at the big picture of your life. So $100 million was wiped from BitMEX as Bitcoin dives $1,500 in three minutes. And so you can see on this chart how Bitcoin jumped up traveled along, and then just absolutely took a dive. Let's take a closer look at that chart. And so you can see here that the high here was $10,428, and then Bitcoin started traveling somewhere around the $10,100 level, and then it tanked. On this chart, we're only seeing it go from a high of 10176 to a low of 9300 
But if you took a look at BitMEX, this drop was even more dramatic because it went all the way down to $8,600. And it did that drop on BitMEX in a three-minute period of time. And so what happened? Well, people were, were making leveraged bets and they were going long on Bitcoin as they saw the price had broken this $10,000 mark and a whole bunch of people, almost all of them are retail investors investing anywhere from $500 to $1,000. Uh, a few of them may have bet even more money. I wish I, I would love to have the stats on the breakdown of that $100 million, but the majority of the people that are doing leverage trading on BitMEX are small-time investors, and they're not doing a huge amount of money, but it's a shame that these people who really, I mean, they're, they're just retail investors, lost $100 million in a three-minute time period. And so one thing I, I just... I strongly discourage anybody from really seriously considering leverage trading, especially on, on BitMEX where you can do, you can invest $1,000 and buy $100,000 worth of Bitcoin. Well, if you make a bet the wrong way, and as you can see within hours, no matter what direction you bet, here's where a bunch of shorts were liquidated. Here's where a bunch of longs were liquidated. So people that bet the price was going to go down lost their money here, and people that bet the price was going to go up lost their money here. And so even though you can bet in either direction for the price of Bitcoin, you can also lose money very, very quickly. Um, and so uh, just a, a not, not a very good thing. This is another chart, and it shows kind of the liquidations during those time periods, all these the red dots are people who went long and were liquidated. The blue dots are people who decided to short the market and got liquidated. And you can see that there's just a ton of liquidations in very, very short periods of time. And so now, do I think that this is time to panic and pull the plugs on Bitcoin? Absolutely not. In fact, that's the reason I wanted to show you this chart. In this chart, you can see uh, this is this blue line is the 50-day simple moving average, and the the orange line is the 200-day simple moving average. And so, uh, people commonly use the 50 and 200-day moving averages to identify a golden cross. This right here was a golden cross. This here is a death cross, and this here is another golden cross. Historically, with Bitcoin, golden crosses have always been a very, very profitable indicator. In fact, one of the very few times where it wasn't super profitable is this one right here, but we need to give it a little bit of grace and understand, hey, we had the COVID-19 pandemic hit and it tanked everything, the stock market and and you know had the global shutdowns and everything else, and so Bitcoin dropped dramatically and that pushed it into uh, a death cross and broke the golden cross. And actually this golden cross was not profitable, but we have a, a reasonable explanation with COVID-19 and the global lockdown and the pandemic. I mean, that's, that's kind of a once in a lifetime happening. And so um, we can, I'm, I'm comfortable ignoring that particular golden cross just because of the circumstances. We just recently had another golden cross, and as you can see, Bitcoin is still above both the 50-day and the 200-day moving averages, and both of those uh, moving averages tell us that Bitcoin is currently in a long-term uptrend, and it has not broken that uptrend yet, even with what happened on BitMEX and the price dropping so dramatically. And so... That's my video for today. I hope you got something out of it. I'm really trying hard to try and deliver to you useful information. And so please share your comments on the YouTube channel uh, in, the, in the section below. Uh, if you're not on YouTube, just go down into this area of the video and you're going to see a link that will take you directly to this video on YouTube. Uh, please leave your comments. We would love to hear from you. It helps us make better videos. It helps us create content that you're interested in because your comments tell us what you like and what you dislike. And so it, it really helps us out 
to make a better video that will be good for you know that you'll enjoy and that you'll want to watch and so please feel free to share your comments even if you disagree your polite disagreements are always welcome in the meantime i hope that you'll like subscribe and hodl and hey do me a favor have a fantastic day